All right, we are all set. Okay. Hang on, now I have to cough. <laughs> Allergies, all right. Um, greetings all, welcome to the Amherst Design Review Board meeting of April 24, 2023. My name is Erica Zikos, and as the chair of the Amherst Design Review Board, I'm calling this meeting to order at 5 p.m. This meeting is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst's YouTube channel and minutes are being taken. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the Acts of 2023, this design review board meeting will be conducted via remote means using the Zoom platform. The Zoom meeting link is available on the meeting agenda posted on the town's website calendar listing for this meeting or go to the design review board webpage and click on the most recent agenda, which lists the Zoom link at the top of the page. No in-person attendance of the public is permitted. However, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the meeting in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship or despite best efforts, we will post an audio or video recording, transcript or other comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting on the Town of Amherst website. Board members, I will do roll call. Um, let me know if you're here. Tom Long? Present. Thank you. Catherine Porter? Present. Lindsay Schnarr? Present. And Erica Zikas, that's me. We're joined also by Chris Brestrup and Rob Wachilla from Planning Board. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. <clears throat> Sorry, I just lost my space. Um, if the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I will see your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, remember to remit yourself. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware, the board will not respond to comments during general public comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when de determined appropriate. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the design review board chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be discontinued from the meeting. On tonight's agenda, we have two items. Um, the first uh, FY 2023, number 21, Ananda Dali for Blue Mango Cafe, they've actually withdrawn their, um, their need to be here. So they were on the agenda, but they don't have a presentation for us tonight. And then uh, DRB 2023, 22, Matthew LaCroix from Real Property Management. We'll then move on to approval of meeting minutes, then general public comment period, and then any other business. Let's get started um, by 2023, number 22. Uh, is Mr. LaCroix with us tonight? So they are in the audience. Um, do you want me to go ahead and make Mr. LaCroix a, a panelist so he can speak to us? Yes, please. All righty. So as soon as he accepts it, he will be on the call. Hello. Hi, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Can you guys hear me okay? Yep, you sound great. Okay. Perfect. Are you prepared to do a screen share or would you like me to do that for you? Or um, you to I, I can, but if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to put it up. Um, yeah, I can do it. I have all the documents open. Okay. Let's see. 
you'll just have to be clear if you want me to scroll or move to another image. Sure. All right, so thank you for being here. Um, you wanna introduce yourself and take us through your proposal? Yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm Matt LaCroix. I'm the owner and president of Real Property Management Bay State West. Uh, our office is based in Ludlow and we manage properties throughout Hamden, Hampshire and Franklin counties. Uh, one of the properties that I manage is um, the block of 61 to 63 Main Street, uh, which is a mixed use building, two resident, um, two residences up on the second floor. And then on the first floor, um, we have one uh, proposed restaurant in 63 Main Street, uh, which I think is not new information. They, they've been um, trying to get to a starting point for, for close to a year now. Uh, and then we have a vacant side in 61 Main Street, and we have a proposed restaurant that wants to go into there. Um, the purpose of today, because of the moratorium on gas, um, our restaurants are unable to cook. Um, so in order to do that, uh, they have asked that we get permits to have propane gas on site. Um, so the, the image that you're looking at, this is a survey that was done by Eaton and Associates. Um, so on the right side of that uh, unit is a 63 Main Street. That's the Asian restaurant that's currently occupying that site. Um, they need eight uh, propane tanks. So you can see there is four on the right side, which is on a concrete slab. Uh, in between this building and the, the building next to it, um, which is managed by Kendrick Property Management. And then there are four additional uh, propane tanks on the back right of the building. Yep. Um, so those eight are for 63 Main Street. That's our priority is getting those in place so the restaurant can open. Um, and then on the left side, 61 Main Street is for a prospective tenant um, that would like to open a restaurant as well. For the same reasons, they need propane gas, um, much smaller quantity. It would be three tanks, uh, which you can see there. Um, the small orange circles that are near the tanks, those would be new bollards that get put into place um, according to the, the laws and regulations that are, are required. Um, and those would be installed on our, on our dime. The big piece is um you know we need the approval of the town uh in order to allow use of that concrete pad um because some of it's on um you know the owner's property and some of it's on town property mm -hmm. um so that's partial part of what we're asking is that approval so that we can move forward with this proposal okay thank you that's really helpful um and you i don't know if y'all can see if i switch screens to this one. You've given us images of the tanks and yep. the bollards. Yep. And then I I, <laughs> I had somehow gotten us to see the, the back of the building. Yeah. Um, there we go. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So the right side there where all those trash barrels are, that's yep. where four of the propane tanks would go for the restaurant on 63 Main Street. Yeah. And then in the little alleyway on the right side of the building, um, there's a concrete pad where the other four would go. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of partially on our property, partially on Kendrick's property. Uh, but Kendrick did give us a written approval to say that they were okay with the tanks. Um, as long as they could continue to use that space for their trash barrels, which we said was okay. Um, and then on the back left side where those three tiny little bollards are, those would get replaced. And that's where the other three tanks would go for 61 Main Street. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, in your application paperwork you mentioned um, closing up this window and then there was also a, a note about some plywood that's being replaced possibly yeah. also with block or a brick yeah so not not that window that you're you're touching right there but on the so the easier one would be on the left side there those two little they look like basement windows those small mm -hmm. windows 
we would we would brick those up. Um, and the idea is just if anything were ever to happen, you want to make sure that there's no projectiles with glass and such. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the right side of the building where you can't really see, um, there are two windows. There's currently plywood over them. Uh, the plywood would get removed and those windows would get bricked up as well before the tanks go in so that for the same reason, protecting the, the okay. property. Great. Um, let's see, let me go back to here and I'll open the floor to DRB members for any questions or comments. I'm sorry, I've got to change my views so that I can see if anybody actually has their hand. Lindsay? Hello. Um, I see no problem with this. I'm happy to approve it. My only um, my only question really is about the window and looks like the electrical panels. Um, can you go back to that street view, Erica? Sure. Yeah, those gas meters, that's for the heat for the building. So those are not for cooking. Those are for yeah, yeah. heating the environment. So those are already in place. So my only question was about clearance around those and then making sure that the window is unobstructed. Yep. Yeah, they would be to the right, like where those last two barrels are, that's where they're proposing the tanks. Um, so the, the trash barrels would still be, you know, closer to those. But if we have to board that window up as well, or, or brick that one, um, I think we could. I'm not sure what's on the other side of it in the restaurant, but. Okay. And, and just, just to be clear, the recommendation to Rick, the windows was from the, the fire chief or the fire marshal. Yeah. Sounds like. Um, and the, the ones around the corner in the space between the two buildings, those tanks are serviceable. You can access them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and the plan for fuel refueling, um, I think Jamie Fitzgibbon is on the phone. I uh, can't see her, but, um, you know, to refill the tanks would be about a 20 minute process once a week, um, assuming they were at, you know, 40% use. So you can basically fit the truck there. They could access it to the right of the screen. Um, there's an opening there. So is there an option for larger tanks or uh, is this the appropriate size tank for that location? My understanding that's the appropriate size for the location based on the perimeter that you have to allow around the tanks. Because if yeah, you go okay. larger, um, more space. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Tom, any thoughts? No, I, I approve it as is. I okay. think it's sort of yeah. necessary and um, I think it's thoroughly thought through. I don't think anybody's going to be offended by those tanks. Looks All like right, so sounds like we need a motion to approve. Although, yeah. Lindsay, were you just watching your gestures? No, you're good. Okay, just a motion to approve then. I move that we approve the petition for the placement of the new propane tanks yeah. as presented. Mm -hmm. Oh, it. Lindsay snuck in <laughs> <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> all right, all those in favor, please raise your hand. I look like unanimous. Thank you very much, yeah. Mr. LaCroix, for coming. Um, Thank and you. We'll see your new tenants again uh, if they have signage or lighting to approve. Yeah, yeah. It we need to work on the next step, but I, we've got some conversations going via email, but I think the next step is the site plan review. Um, although a little bit confused, but I don't think this is the right forum, so we'll figure it out. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks. Thank Have you. a nice evening. Thank you all. Okay. Let's see. Um, so we can move on then to... 
Hang on, there you go. Uh, meeting minutes, approval of meeting minutes. Does everybody have a chance to scan those or shall I share my screen again? Share your screen, please. Okay. I'm seeing them. All right. I'll just do a slow scroll. Can I forward? And then Blue Mango is since withdrawn, but I suppose we should feel comfortable with what's on the record here. Will they be coming back at another time? I think they've know? decided not to pursue the business. Oh, 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 okay. Interesting. Maybe it's a good decision. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good. Well, you were right, Erica. You took longer to start the meeting than, <laughs> than, <laughs> than the meeting. <laughs> so, um, um, any, any like one o two right now? So okay. <laughs> I'm head on straight. Uh, does anybody have any changes to the to the minutes that they'd like to discuss? All right, then we could move forward to approve those. I, I move that we approve the minutes of the previous uh, meeting, which was, yeah. I forget the date. April 24th. April, okay, April 24th. Great. I can't, I can see Tom's. <laughs> I, Tom's raising, he's doing the hand raise, but it's. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be polite here, but you know. <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, thank you. Is, is there anybody here from the general public to speak this evening? No. No, okay. And um, if I could just take a, a little minute, um, I have two thoughts. Um, one is about dates for the summer. I believe we, with, with our every, fourth Monday strategy, that means June 26th, July 24th, and August 28th. And I just wanted to know um, if if anybody has already a kind of scheduled vacation or something to um, let Rob know so that we can reschedule if that's gonna be necessary. Um, and then the other question I had was whether we would be receiving a new member from the Historic Commission or not, if there is any movement on that. So what I've heard so far, um, Historic Commission hasn't had a meeting recently, ever mm -hmm. since they got their two new members, so they haven't really had the opportunity to pick somebody yet. Okay. Um, so once somebody is picked, I'll be sure to let everybody know. Okay. okay. Appreciate it. Yep. As long as they're as long as, long as it's on the agenda <laughs> when they when they meet that that works for us. Yeah. Anybody else have any questions, things to add? Great. It's delightful to see you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Erica. Very Thank you, nice. Rob.
See you next month. Okay. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Meetings adjourned. <Bye. laughs> All right, it's 5.19.